several people have asked what the line that goes through the bond in an organic chemistry diagram actually means. Now, first of all, it's not going through the bond. And even in this diagram that I took from the internet, you can see that there's a break in there. It's not crossing through the bond. It's meant to be coming from the middle and sticking out of the center there, you know, in like a third plane coming out at you. But what it means is that that group, in this case NO2, could have been coming out of any of the other carbons in that ring. I say the other ones because it can't also be coming from here. This is already taken up by whatever this group is. That NO2 has five different places it could be. It could have been at this first carbon atom there. Huh, I didn't think this through before deciding I was going to draw all of them for you. It could have just as easily, or with equal chance, have been here. That's an NO2. I'm going to keep going. Benzene ring. That NO2 could have been sticking out of that bond. Keep going. Double bonded O. Oh boy. That was not a good diagram. Oh, hexagon. Bam, bam, bam. NO2 could have been sticking out of that carbon. Or lastly, it could have been bonded to that other carbon that's close to where the substituent is. There you go. That's NO2 sticking out of that carbon instead. All of these together are represented by this structure showing that the NO2 could have been there, or there, or there, or there, or there. That's what it means. Easy peasy once you understand what it means -y. <laughs> Best of luck.